And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I'm joined as always by Fallout, Luke, from Vinny, and Norman. When we last left off, we had made it through Titan's Cave. And we broke on through to the other side. And what do we have down here? We do have another cave to go to. Are there new enemies on this side of the continent? No. In fact, there are weaker enemies than we've been fighting this whole time. Apparently, Terra Cave is like the worst place to be if you're a human. Um, I actually r heard that you could beat that at level 10. I want to see that done um, because I struggled at 14. Maybe I just suck. And here we are in Sage's Cave. Um, I assume there's a sage here somewhere. Is there anything in your pots? No, of course not. You're not cool like that, man. No. Is there any Okay, what the hell? Oh, okay. The the layout of this game sometimes confuses me. Oh. Deeper down. Oh, guess what we have to do? With this earth rod, we have to go further down into the freaking cave that I thought I was done with, but no, I'm not. We have to go further, deeper, and down. So, yeah, we have to go back through the tunnel, back to the cave, and I'll meet you back down there where we killed the vampire. Be right back. Okay, so we're back in the cave here. Um, I, like I said, I've heard that this could have been done by level 12, but everything that I, says, I, I see says go to... Uh, go to level 14 for this. And now what you need to do is go to key items, earth rod, use it right here at this stone. And it breaks to form a secret passage that will take us to basement level 4. And holy crap, we have a troll. Oh my god, it's Amaranth from Final Fantasy IX. What the hell are you doing in the dungeon, and why are you freaking out? But he's slow, so he goes down pretty fast. Pretty fast. Okay, let's go north first, because I like the looks of north. It does lead to a, a room there. Is there more? No, just these guys again. Those guys are no match for me. Oh, wow, that's a lot of treasure. This looks like a scripted fight, though. And we do have a new enemy. Awesome. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown the hyena dance before, but the ogre mage, that's definitely new. Oh man, this this probably is not going to work out well. well let's take on the, the, the hyena. Oh my god, he used blink. Every si I swear to god, every game I play, somebody uses blink. I have no idea what that means in this game. Yeah, I'm just kidding increases evasion and as you can see it's working very well especially when he freaking fogs me so now his evasion is up he's fogged Luke and Melvin but yeah once you get a hit on him he goes down pretty easy luckily he didn't use any attacking spells um, we find a staff in there what's with this scripted fight oh this fight again uh, since we just sh showed it, I don't feel like showing it again. And for that repeat battle, we get 3,400 gifts. Okay. Oh my gosh, and it's another scripted battle, is it? Oh my god, we have Sphinx. Sphinxes. I, I don't know what the plural of Sphinx is. But sh they don't appear to be as easy as I thought that they were. This is not good. We're not doing that much damage, but I thought I could kill them in one shot, one round. I was proven wrong. Come on, Luke. Oh, wow, 40. Oh, well, he's got a ton of health still. Come on, Fallout. There we go. That That's not enough? 
that's gotta do it. Come on, yeah. Even just the one-hit combo should be enough. We get a ton of experience and gold for that. We get 1,455 gil, 1,520 gil, and another scripted fight. This time against just one Sphinx. Hopefully, I can take it out in one round this time. If I focus everybody's attacks on it, take out the Sphinx. Thank you. Yeah, 290, 1160 gold. That's a lot. Why do I keep saying gold? They're gill. Clearly labeled gill. And I stepped on the freaking scripted foot again. Okay, so let's try to leave. So let's leave here and then we'll go... Well, there's only one way we can go and that's back east for now. So let's go that way and then we can go south the southern route. And then from there we can try... Holy crap, we got cockatrices. Okay, I have not shown these guys in... Uh, this game before. Um, these are arguably the scariest guys here. Um, they can stone you, and what I mean by stone is petrify, and it's instant, and the cure is outrageously expensive. So you want to take them out as soon as you can. Please, somebody hit it and kill it, and away it goes. Okay, I got lucky there. They don't give me enough uh, experience in Gil for for what you're doing uh, to take those guys out. Oh man, uh, it's scary whenever you see those in one of the early Final Fantasy games. So let's keep going forward. Let's try the southern route because I went north last time and I love taking one step and getting into another battle. And I love it when the enemy strikes first and does massive amounts of damage and heals itself. That's always fun. Okay, can I take more than one step? Thank you, that's greatly appreciated. And this is a dead end. So let's not go to the dead end, let's go the other way, which would be no- Okay, let's keep going! Hopefully I can find something worthwhile. Um, I feel like I'm going in circles. Though I know I'm not yet. Oh. So we keep going and keep going and now ah, The random encounter rate just picked up in this little... floor, whatever. And I don't like sudden spikes in random encounter rates. Okay, let's, this looks like the way to the end. I don't think there's anything left here anyway. That was an insanely easy battle, actually. Okay, so... Oh, man. Oh, I hate when I miss it. Okay, into the stairs we go. We don't go down once we're already there. Okay. And get out of my way, you stupid bat. Oh, you were plucking the wrong way. Anyways. So, we're going to try to explore this as much as we can. Yeah, I hope you guys brought a ton of potions with you. You'll need all of them. I brought, I brought 50 with me, and I've already used a lot of them. There's no treasure here, uh, so we just need to go into the middle. I think I just went in the circle again. Damn me and my impatience. Uh, no, this is new. Okay, so we're almost a circle, but here's the room that you want to go in, and there's is this scripted? No. But like I said, the fights are getting a lot easier. Okay, um, here it is. We have the brown orb. There's no other way to describe it. Um, this would be the boss. Uh, so just a quick reca recap. I leveled up to level 15 want going back to Melmond um, while I was there. I bought a life one for Finny and poison for Novin. We're not going to use poison, but I got it anyways. Um, well, at least not in this fight. Um, and in terms of items, I got, you know, like I said, 50 potions, uh, 10 tents, even though I probably won't need that many tents, uh, and I got the antidote, so I'm going to heal up, and then we're going to take on the brown orb. Alright, that's healed up enough, let's take on the brown orb. Who speaks to me? My exclamation point speaks to you. Oh. Oh, oh my good lord, what is that? I am the force withholding the power of the earth. Away with you humans! Everybody has a better line than Garland. Holy crap, this thing is huge. Uh, many people consider this the first actual boss of the game. Um, and it comes across that way. Um, is he... I'm gonna go for it. I, I, I'm not sure if he's undead. Uh, he looks undead to me, so I'm gonna try it. But you definitely want to use Fire 3 on him, and it does 118, as opposed to the 21. Oh my lord. 
eyes too. Yeah, you definitely want to heal up for this. Come on, Dio 3! 172, so yes, he is undead. Come on, Fire 3, come on, Dio 3. Yeah, you want to use as many of these as you have available to you. Come on, Dio 3! Show him the light! For 94. And there we go, down goes the Lich! He slow dissolves like a boss. We get 550 experience, 3000 gil! Nice. And then, we slowly walk up to the Earth Crystal. We split apart, and Fallout shows his crystal! And it gets absorbed into the giant Earth Crystal! And it's regained its former glory. We've done it, you guys! This is the altar of Earth from which the power of Earth flows forth. And what's this back here? Thank you for ruining my moment. What's this back here? It's a warp. Oh, thank you so much, game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we're back on the world map. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's awesome. Thank you for the warp. I'll meet you back in Melmond. All right, with the Earth Crystal lit, we are back in Melmond with one of the four crystals done. We need to go east here, and we're going to find our next destination. We're going to keep going south along this coastline as far as we can go. What we are headed for is a place known as Crystal Lake. And if you could look on the world map here, you can kind of see it. Kind of, kind of see it. But, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's on the southeastern side, which is hard to get to. And we can see the Marsh Cave there. Still one of my least favorite pa places. But now we're way too high of a level for it. Now we're further east than we've ever been before. Except that this is Elven City. So I lied! I thought we were way further along than we had been before. So let's keep following the coast here. We're going to keep going east. Now we're definitely further east than we've ever been before. And hopefully we can find a port here soon. Because I know there is one around here somewhere. Yeah, it's one of those points in the game where you're kind of like, how was I supposed to know to go there? To which the answer always is, don't you remember that one NPC like three times back? Um, no. Well, he told you. Oh, thanks. Alright, so then we're gonna head southwest from there. Yeah, the enemies here are definitely a lot tougher than the last land that we were in. For instance, that last battle was two trolls and a minotaur. That's definitely tough. Okay, I can see it. I can see the town. Oh, why, why are towns designed this way? And we are here at... Can you name this place? Anybody? Anybody? Come on, it's obvious once you hear it. It's Crescent Lake. But what's inside Crescent Lake? You'll have to wait to find out next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.